Good afternoon ladies, I can see we're live on uh, Facebook and because Ellie's here, magically we've been able to go live at the same time on Instagram. <laughs> so unlike this time last uh, Tuesday where you could hear me snorting <laughs> and saying I don't know what I'm doing, we do! Anyway, today is all about Blue 7. I'm going to park my bag for a bit because I feel a bit self-conscious just sort of holding it in front of me. Uh, yeah, Blue 7 ladies, a fabulous brand. Back in the day, uh, we stopped it for several years. Then we had the pandemic, yada yada yada, their B2B, which means their website from which I could buy online wasn't up to speed. So I wanted to wait until I actually met them face to face again. I've done that. Um, we've had a small drop this summer. Um, I think once you see the price point, as well as the garments, you will be rushing to buy this uh, brand so that I can see us uh, buying more heavily into it as the seasons pass. I've already bought winter and I can tell you it's fab. So Blue 7 is a Dutch brand. Um, I actually buy it in Germany. Uh, they are most well known for their children's clothes. I think actually, although I think it's fairly exclusive to us in the UK as far as women's wear is concerned, you can buy their children's wear. Great price point. Uh, the garments are made in the Far East or Bangladesh, but this is how uh, we can bring them to you at the price point they are. Um, like most European companies, they are light years ahead of us as far as checking out the factories are concerned. So in Europe, or particularly in Northern Europe, they all sign up to this sort of confederation thing, which says that they've checked out the factories that they're using. So I can buy with confidence. Um, it's a small family firm. I buy from uh, one of the directors, a lovely lady um, who keeps promising to come and see us in England one of these days. So that's a bit of background to Blue 7. Um, the sizing, uh, before the pandemic, we would have said it was slightly small. Today, however, I would suggest that if anything, it's on the generous side. Now, the thing you will find uh, in common today is that Ellie and I are wearing 12 in everything. We've actually chosen our outfits based on our ability to hoof our bodies into a size 12. And we've been fairly successful across the board. I'm actually a 14 to 16 because of my bust, but I do have a small frame. So I would say that they're slightly generous. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, actually. I think I'd better crack on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about uh, how I... I'm just going to quickly uh, tell you what this dress is, and then Ellie, who's wearing it in a different colourway, is going to um, tell you about the dress itself. Um, it'll be great to see some love hearts and some thumbs up as we go through. As you know, we're as blind as bats, so unless we see hearts or something coming up across the screen, we're not completely convinced that anybody's watching us. I'm going to let Ellie talk to you about what to do if you're on Instagram and, you know, leave messages and everything. This dress is stunning. I said I wouldn't talk about it. I'm just going to talk about it briefly. It's gorgeous. It is called the Linen Sleeveless Midi Dress in Black. Can you see it's got the little detailing here? Just park my uh, bra straps underneath. Um, beautiful length on me at five foot six. The, the slit comes to above my knee so I don't feel overly exposed. Ellie looks good in it as well, and obviously we're completely different body shapes. I've teamed it up with the Katie in black, which is a little raffia basket. It's got a lining inside, but this is great for holidays and high summer. And I have got the gold layered necklace from Envy, which is £33. And Models own peep toe sandals in black, but we do have them this year. Handing you over to Ellie, ladies. So, the other colourway in this gorgeous dress. Um, so, as Sarah said, uh, we are both in the size 12s in everything today. So, I'm a size 12 on the top, and I think about a 12 to 14 now on the hips. But either way, I'm a pear shape, so I'm bigger here than everywhere else. Um, and this is the size 12 on me. Um, I would just say for Instagram, anybody watching us there, um, we 
aren't able to catch up on the live comments after this is finished. So if you have got any questions or anything like that, please just message them to us and we will get back to you um, through message. Um, so we were actually just talking about perhaps changing um, the, the name of this colour um, on the website. So it currently is um, the linen sleeveless midi dress in red, um, but it is definitely more of a coral. So if I just come a little bit closer so that you can see it, I have got entirely the wrong bra on. Um, as anybody who's seen us um, on Ask Joke Girls on Facebook, you will have seen that we've been doing lots of photography today. So I've got my photography bra on. Um, so just ignore the fact that you can see um, what's going on underneath. But just look at this detail. It is so pretty. It is so, so gorgeous. Um, I've just matched it with some gold espadrilles on the bottom. So, sorry, the dress is £45. Um, such a great, great price. The espadrilles, 55 And I've also got the cream Isabel for £50 here. So I've gone, um, you know, nice and nude with my accessories. I have just picked up the white clover bracelet, which I um, didn't write down the price. Um, but that is online. It's from Envy, just to keep the whole nude vibe going. So this is, it's really floaty. It's easy for me to wear as a pear shape. As you saw, it also looked great on, on Sarah as an inverted triangle. I think this is going to be a really great one to take you from day to evening. So even if this is kind of a, a walk on the beach as the weather's getting warmer and you've got some sandals on the bottom, popping a lovely blazer on top of this and some heels, actually the way that this hangs on you, it's going to be really, really great to take you into the evening as well, which is what I love. If I can get two different occasions out of a dress, then I'm all over it because I don't have the time to think about changing too much. Um, so I'll give you a quick little swirl so that you can see it all the way around on me. There we go. And we've got Sarah. Right, so I'm back, ladies, with outfit number two. I'm really embracing that Ralph Lauren thing. Um, <clears throat> look again. Uh, this season, I think it's because of my lovely white sorbet skirt. This isn't mine, but I do have one at home. And it looks as though I might actually be able to wear it in real life very, very soon because the sun has finally started shining in Norfolk. So if we go from the bottom, model zone, uh, peak toe, uh, sandals in navy, I uh, can't remember how much they are, 55 I think, uh, but we do have, or oh, 59, we do have um, them uh, back in stock this year. It's something that we start year on year. Um, the skirt, as I've said, is from Sorbet, and I haven't written down a price, but from memory it's 45 quid. Super flattering. You're going to see Ellie in one of our Sorbet skirts later. We are loving them, and of course they're at a great price point too. I'm actually wearing the white clover necklace, which is uh, 33 pounds. Um, it's one of the two that I've picked for this season um, that I'm going to be moving from outfit to outfit, sometimes doubling them up and then other times um, just wearing them singly. And I've also bought for myself, if we have them here, but I can't see them, um, the, uh, the matching earrings to this necklace. So these are the pieces of jewelry that I'm wearing in real life this summer. Um, but the star of the show is, of course, from uh, Blue 7, which is the Blue Stripe Seersucker Popover Top, which is £39. Darling, if it had a Ralph Lauren uh, label in it, you could put a one in front of that, that, and I don't think it would be any better quality, and I have a huge suspicion it might be made in the same place as well. This is a stunning piece. I'm just going to pull it out for those of you who don't like to tuck in. But I would like to point out, ladies, that I do look like a bag of spanners now. And this is what you look like when you don't tuck in. But I'm going to stop lecturing you. You're here to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> so this is what it looks like out if you absolutely insist on not tucking in. Loved this outfit like this. Here comes Ellie. Right, I'm in another dress. So this is the sleeveless ruffle hem 
for £45. Now, we were actually having a little discussion today. Um, I need um, a new dress going into the summer, and this is definitely one of my options. Um, I put it on, um, and it just falls where I need it to fall. Um, it's floaty. It's fantastic for work as well. Um, I really, really like it. So it's got this beautiful um, notched uh, neckline here, which is so flattering. Um, as you can see, I guess, I'm so sorry about my bra, ladies. Do just completely ignore that. Um, <laughs> it looked much better if I had a good bra on with it. Um, I have got some of the um, the navy escadrilles on the bottom, £59. Um, and actually, as I was just putting them on, I realised that the ones that we have this year, um, which have got slightly different sole, as you can see, they've got a little um, nude bit at the bottom. They're also a squarer toe, which of course doesn't make much difference because they're open toe, but um, underneath they are squarer than the ones that we had last year, just so you're aware. So um, £59, and I've just matched it with an angular bracelet in silver for £24. I love these ones. They're just a bit of a statement. So when you've got something kind of quite plain, you don't want to take too, um, too much away from the dress. Um, something like this, just a little statement bracelet is fabulous. Now the bottom, let me lift it so that you can see it properly without flashing everybody online and outside the window. Um, so, <laughs> um, so as you can see, it's got some fabulous detail on that hem there. And again, I said to Sarah, actually, I'm not usually a ruffle type person I'm not usually um, a ruffly hem but I love it I love the way that it um, drapes on me um, and I really do love the ruffle on the bottom so I really think this could be one that's coming home with me has again, it got pockets because none of the others have it's the only thing that's missing no no, no pockets. pockets no pockets <laughs> there we go right so I'm beach ready ladies in outfit number three as we've just discovered, the thing that is missing from all these dresses is pockets. But that's probably one of the reasons why they all come in at the amazing price point that they do. So this is the cotton pinstripe shirt dress. It's £49. I'm wearing it as a dress. I think this would look equally fabulous as a coat. And I probably would even wear it over white cropped jeans and I definitely would wear it over shorts. Um, so I've got four ways of wearing this without thinking too hard at all. Um, I'm just going to give you a twirl so that you can see what it looks like. A uh, little side split again. Um, I've just thought of a fifth way of wearing it, a pop over when you go to the bar, uh, beach bar on holiday. Um, this does not make me uncomfortable. The split is it's up to the halfway up the thigh, but you know, I feel fine with it. Um, and it just comes to below my knee, which again is a length that I'm comfortable with at five foot six. It's got the little tab on the sleeve, so I've rolled the sleeves up and I've just to lift it slightly have popped my necklace of the season in the neckline, uh, which is the white clover at 33 pounds. Still got my navy peep toe sandals and of course um, my beach bag which is the Lily Raffia bag. It's £55. I love this outfit ladies. What do you think? Give us a thumbs up. Okay, so on to tops for me now. So I am in the um, coral linen popover for £45. I am in the wide leg jumping jeans, £72. And then I have got these espadrilles um, on the bottom again. So I don't know why I haven't taken the tag off the espadrilles because these are actually coming home with me so I am having some. Um, <laughs> so I will take that off. Um, so these, so I know this is about blue seven, but these jeans you ladies went completely bonkers for. We have got some more stock in just so you're aware. And this, I think this is the first time that I'm trying them on, which is madness. Um, but perhaps that's because they all went so quickly the first first time they were in. Aren't they comfy? I understand why you all bought them up so quickly. They are fabulous. So about a 30 inch leg, which is really great. Um, I mean, I'm five foot six. So for me coming into this season with some espadrilles, actually, it's a really good length. Um, and again, I'm in the size 12 in this top. Actually, I would probably fit size 10. Um, but if I'm going for a nice slouchy and um, it gives me a couple of options to wear with um, different things, then I probably would just stick to the 12. Um, so it is 
um, I think, have I told you that it's £45? Well, it's £45, obviously a v-neck, um, very relaxed fit, um, and it does have the beautiful colour as well. So this one online does say coral. I don't know about you, but I think that this is probably quite close to the colour in the dress that I was wearing first. So I think that that dress does need to be changed to um, to coral. Uh, let me show you what it looks like untucked. So for you ladies who um, don't like to tuck, really good length. Look, it's, it's um, just below my bum. Um, really good length. The sleeves are lovely as well. That's covering everything that I want to cover of my sleeves. And actually, because it is quite boxy, um, it's giving a little bit of a cap sleeve effect as well, which, as we all know, is extremely flattering um, too. So I'm really, really loving this. Um, and although coral isn't usually my colour, um, I am really liking the coral from Blue 7. They've pulled it off very well. So there we go. And it's got a lovely little notch there too. There we go. Are the jeans fur? Oh my god, hair coming home with me. <laughs> right, so ladies, I actually came to work almost like this. The Carmella loafers are mine, uh, they were 89 quid, uh, they're now down to 68. I would have actually had we got them in my size, actually worn the pink ones just to sort of lift this outfit and make it a bit more um, brighter and summery. But um, I love it as it is, actually. Uh, moving on to the uh, bracelet, which is the Gold Link chain bracelet, which is £28. Um, I like to wear a bracelet like this with my watch. Um, I don't wear a lot of jewellery. I'm really, really... A huge fan of um, what Chanel said so I put jewelry on in the morning and then I take at least one piece off and then I feel a bit more comfortable I've actually forgot to put my earrings in today so that wasn't intentional but I'm gonna pretend it is um, so I've just got one one earring quite high which looks a bit odd and then all the others are missing Right, so our jeans are Anna Montana Magic Stretch uh, Super Stone. Great, great colour for the summer. I've got a roll on them. Um, I wear these in the winter, I wear them in the summer. I think they come up a bit smaller than the usual uh, stone wash, uh, but that might be because of my body shape, because I know that Ellie actually stuck to um, her own size. If you've got a bit of a tum like me, you might want to go up a size. This is the uh, Natural Lily, um, which is great. And I am wearing the same top that Ellie had on uh, before in a size 12. And actually for me, it's fitted. In real life, I think I would like to have a look at a 14. I think it, I would get more of an oversized look. It's looking a bit sort of school uniform to me at the moment, like this. I had it, it um, out, in, in, out, but this is what it would look like tucked, and then I would put a belt with it. I love every single outfit that I've worn today, ladies. Um, yeah, so I'm so pleased that uh, we are reunited with Blue 7. So the last outfit from me, um, I am in the Deco Print sleeveless um, top for £39. I am in the um, denim skirt from Sorbet for 55s, um, 55s, 55, uh, which is my own. And I am in at Toe Posts in silver, £40. Let me just show you those because they're so pretty. And let me tell you, I kept banging on about it when I put them on. These are so soft and comfortable. They're great. Uh, but I am a lover of toe posts anyway, So, um, but the sole of them is fabulous. And then because I feel like I'm going on holiday, I've just put the, um, the starfish necklace on for £25. Um, and I'd have a nice little beach bag if I'd have thought about it. So um, I'm loving this outfit. The um, the notch neckline is just so great. Um, it's covering my bra straps nicely. I don't feel like I'm hoofing them in every two seconds as I'm moving. Um, really love it with this colour skirt. And I will just so that you can see what it is like not in my skirt. There we go. So it's, it's still semi-fitted. I still feel like I've got, um, that you can still see my figure here. Um, but it is, it's super, I love it. And I love it tucked in with my skirt that's how I would wear it so Ellie what do you think 
with our Blue Seven. Because obviously you're a new Blue Seven virgin. I am. <laughs> I think, honestly, each and every one of the outfits, um, they are fabulous. They really are. In particular, that um, navy dress. I think that one may be. You look fab in it. That may be one that's coming home with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about the black dress, but I'm thinking, well, actually, I'm doing more than thinking about a lot you of are, clothes. Is actually. I'm actually <laughs> having a lot of clothes, which is highly unusual. Normally, I'm the one who misses everything, but not this season. <laughs> so, ladies, this is our, for one reason or another, mainly the bank holiday weekend. This is our last video until May the 15th, I think. I don't think we're doing one before then. May the 15th, we are having uh, another video for the, well, we're not calling the petite anymore, but no. challenged. Short, <laughs> short, short. Under five foot four. Under five foot four. For ladies under five foot four. So that's going to happen on uh, May the 15th. And if in the interim we actually dream up something and have time, uh, then we will do a video next week. Super busy here, ladies. As always, thank you so much for your support. Um, we've got a little pri surprise coming up for you on Sunday, but I'm not sure that this video is going to go out. Oh, no, it's going to go out tomorrow. Yeah, this video is going out tomorrow. Just to give you a sneaky, sneaky preview, on Sunday, our bank holiday offer is going to be win your purchase. So, do you buy Blue 7 now and not win your purchase? Well, or do you risk it and leave to sun it's a Sunday? The choice is yours, ladies. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you and um, have a fabulous rest of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.